The Horace Heresy is one of the greatest stories that has ever been told. I would say that it's still being told because we still haven't finished the Siege of Terror. But what I love about it is that I'm still learning new stuff. There's still new lore that is being added to it. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Deliverance Conjunction. Now, this is a new piece of lore which has been added within the latest White Dwarf magazine. I'm going to put the blurb of text up in a second on the screen so we can read it together. But what happens is the lion goes on this crusade of revenge. I actually did a video the other day covering some of the main points on that. Um, in the old law, he links up with Lehman Russ and them two go together and they have this, you know, big campaign of burning and purging and stuff. But now we know that he actually met with another loyalist Primarch before going on this huge campaign. And that Primarch is Corvus Corax, Primarch of the Raven Guard. So let's jump in and let's give this a read. The vast fleet of the First Legion reaches the moon of Deliverance in the Kavavar system. There, in the fortress of the 19th Legion, the Lion meets with his brother Primarchs, Corvus Corax and Lehman Russ. The Lion is quick to question Korak's absences from all the major fronts of war since Isvan, but his ire is put to rest by Lehman Russ, who points out the survival of his own legion as proof of the Raven Lord's continuous loyalty to the Emperor. Fully recovered from the wounds he suffered in the Triolium system, Lehman Russ declares he and the Sixth Legion Warriors on Deliverance will join the Dark Angels in their crusade of obliteration. To appease the Lion's call to arms and knowing well the fate that befalls those who do not demonstrate loyalty as the first Primarch expects it, Korax offers vast quantities of munitions and supplies from the forge veins of Kavavar to the Dark Angels and Space Wolves, including thousands of newly created suits of Mark VI Corvus Power Pattern Armor. Hesitant to commit any significant portion of his depleted legion to what he sees as an undertaking of excess violence and needless waste, Korak assigns only a small expeditionary force of his Raven Guard to accompany the Dark Angels in the next stage of their campaign. Few in number, but bearing the experience of a thousand battlefields between them, the Raven Guard depart deliverance with orders to eliminate key enemy targets ahead of their Lion's onslaught in order to save entire worlds from complete annihilation. Now, the things that really stick out to me in that, and I think what really makes it a really good talking point, is firstly, this is the first time we've seen Corvus Corax and the Lion actually together since the Horus Heresy has actually started. Like, they've actually met. Like, the, the Lion is having his legion. He's doing his crusade of obliteration, as it's mentioned. Corvax's legion has been completely wiped out at this point. Yes, he still has some troops with him, but nowhere to take on absolute, like, mass campaigns. This is why the Raven Guard have been doing guerrilla tactics, you know, strike in, strike out, that kind of stuff. And it's really, really cool to actually see him sit down with his brother Primarch and actually discuss future campaigns to actually take on Horus and his traitor brothers. But of course, the lion being the lion, he's questioning Korax, what have you been doing since Isfan? Yes, your legion has been wiped out, but what have you been doing to try and save the Emperor, to try and save the Imperium? This is typical lion personality. I don't care what's happened to you. What are you doing to try and stop the enemy. And for me, I think it's really lucky that we have Lehman Russ there in the middle, kind of like a mediator, because he's saying to the lion, listen, the only reason I'm here now, the only reason I'm saved is because of Korax and his legions, or oh, should I say legionnaires that he has left. This is his loyalty to protect me. And the lion kind of takes that as okay. So that's what he's been doing and, you know, maybe just lets him off a little bit. But Korax does show his loyalty even more to Lion because as a text dates, he gives him munitions, you know, 
um, armor, Mark VI armor, the Corvus armor. That now leads into like the box set if you want to put your Dark Angels into Mark VI. You know, the lore behind it now is like, hey, this was all given to me by Korak. So, you know, the Dark Angels do have Mark VI power armor. So, you know, it's, it's funny how that works with Games Workshop when they come to market, uh, a market a product and, of course, to tie the lore into it as well. I think that's really, really cool. This is the kind of books I want to see during the Horror Series set. Maybe we'll get this in like a novella or something a couple of years down the line, but I would love to see this interaction in the books. I actually would have loved Korak to actually go with Lehman Russ and the Lion on this campaign of obliteration. I know he gave him troops, and the reason he gave him troops is to try and save people rather than destroy the enemy, because he knows his brother. He knows the Lion. He knows what he's capable of. The Lion will just go to a planet and destroy everything. I don't care if you are innocent. Innocent proves nothing in the lion's eyes he just wants to get rid and scour the galaxy of anyone who he thinks is a traitor to um, the imperium and to his father so that's why Korax has sent his raven guard or should I say like a, a skeleton crew of raven guard to scout ahead take down key locations to try and save as many innocent lives as possible but I think it would have been really really cool if um, Corvus went as well just just to be there among his troops getting down there on the planet and absolutely kicking ass because this is one of the arguments I've had about Korax is um, people keep telling me that you know the Raven Guard are really really cool but I have yet to read like a story where I've been really like oh my god the Raven Guard are amazing Korax is amazing if anyone knows any stories like that please let me know because you know people keep telling me they're cool but I haven't read anything cool about them as of yet Anyway, Chaprunios, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, as always. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that at all, post it down below. What do you think of this little meeting? Um, do you think Korax should have gone along? Do you think the line was right to call out Korax on his lack of getting involved since Isvan? What the hell's Lehman Russ doing in the middle of it all? Well, at least Lehman Russ went with the line, right? You know, the Space Wolves and the Dark Angels, that's kind of like the old lore we know, but we know how that ends with, um, I think it's the line stabbing. Oh, is it, is it, is it the line? stabbing Lehman Russ through one of his hearts or something because they took too long to reach terror. It's something along the lines of that anyway. But um, yeah, that should be fun times. Maybe we'll get a book dedicated to the line of Lehman Russ just absolutely purging traitor after bloody traitor. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.